So another tutorial I wanted to do for you guys was how I rename a bunch of files in mass quickly and easily. So this is why I have this rename folder here if you've seen it before. So let's say I'm going to take Razor's pickup uniforms from last year. Pick up. And here they are here. And there's only 27 of them. There's not 30 of them. So I'm going to go ahead and paste them in my rename folder. And so if I want to make sure I have all 30 uh, teams from, I need how many? Another three. Do that. Copy paste. And now we have all 30, um, whatever you want to say, uh, uniforms <laughs> for all these. And let's say I want to change them to overwrite the original uniforms for whatever reason. So I can load up the renamer program. And I have the basic version. It's all you really need. It works really uh, great. It's the best way I can describe it. So you select the folder and you can apply any kind of you can do find replace so I can find all the pickups and turn them up to I don't know Jow, why not? And we'll go apply. And now that will rename all of the PUs to Jow. That is very useful if um let's say I'm creating my street mod and I instead of overwriting all of the original uh, uniforms, the UHUAs, I can just change it to SA, which is street away. And then in the hex editing, the bank of names, or in Red MC, I can just change all the UAs to SA like that too. Very nice and easily. Um, or I can just make up my own uh, file name. So we'll get rid of the original file name, get rid of the separator, and we'll keep the unique parameter, take out one mask, so we have 001, added prefix. Uh, we'll say these ones are vid or VI, sure. So then it's VI000 and we'll start at 000 and we'll apply that and as you can see it incremented them from 0 all the way up to 29 and you're still going to have to do the basic of VI007, oops, didn't want to copy that. Um, you can still go through change that to 2, oops, excuse me, change that to 31, <sighs> screwed up again and what's the other one that's missing? That's it. Yeah, that's the only one that was missing. That's the only one that has to be changed. So then these will be uniforms that are apl applicable for all of the different uh, teams in the NBA. As long as you change the roster to reference them. Another different way you could do this, um, if you had to do something like this, you can select them all, right click, rename, and blah. And then Windows will automatically add this additional thing that you can go through pretty easily and delete if you want to. Um, you press F2 to go into rename, click here, delete, and press backspace and delete at the same time. Tab, click delete, tab, click delete, clab, or oh, excuse me, tab, click delete, <laughs> tab, click delete. You can see how fun and interesting this is, but at least you get them like this. Or of course you can go back in with uh, the renamer and find any space in this and replace it with nothing, apply, and that gets the rest of them. Um, and then do it again with the other parentheses and apply and get rid of all the things. So then we have blah by itself. You are a liar. Apply. There we go. So yeah, there's a different, there's a couple different ways to use the renamer program like that. Is it you can also go in with batch files if you want to. Um, this is actually something that I do with my configuration settings. So I have different configs uh, CFG files that I use. I have the base one, which is this regular full screen happiness. I have a super HD one, which I was using for super sampling, um, which I don't do anymore. I have a Windows one. A windowed one, which is a windowed mode 1600 by 900, which takes up most of the screen but not all of it, and then a 720p windowed one 1280 by 720p. That's windowed. To quickly change between them, I can just double click one of these. And what these do, these are batch files, and if you right click and go to edit, it just copies one of these ones down here over the one the game uses. So this one copies config base over config CFG, the regular one. So it takes the regular full screen one and copies it over that. If I double click window, it takes my config win and copies it over the configuration file. You can also use the uh, batch command ren to rename one of these. So I could rename 
config CFG to or <laughs> to two, yeah, to one dot CFG, and we'll save this as so I don't screw up all my things. Uh, two. And did I just close that? I did. And I want to make sure I have that properly. So where did I put that? Window two. And then, as you see, one CFG was just created because it copied it over the config and then renamed it to something else. So that's another way uh, you can do a mass renaming thing by using uh, OpenOffice Calc or Excel, where I could just say rename and just copy it all down there. Um, and we'll say we want to rename config one. Let's say I have different config files. Or, you know, let's say let's do this the right way. UH000. <laughs> so I want to rename all of the home uniforms. Dot if. Then add a space here. So as you see, we have a space. And we'll rename them to. Um, anything we really want. So we can rename it to um, Retro 1 Home 000. <laughs> and then I can do it like that. And then I can just grab all my ifs. And then I can take all of this, copy it, paste it in here, and find all of the tabs and replace them with a space. And the problem is here, so I can just go through like this. <laughs> Quick and easy, dirty way of doing it. Actually, you know what? No. Better way of doing that. Ah. Sorry about that. I'm sure I've lost half of you anyway, so screw it. Another way you could do that is if you do a space dot and just get rid of it. Have nothing to replace it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> they go find if dot if <laughs> that was as screwy as could possibly be and then I have triple space here that I need to get rid of space because there's three spaces here one two three play saw there <laughs> now if I save that bring it over to my rename delete all of these move this over here I'll just run something just so I don't forget about that. Um, and then I want to take all of my uniforms here. If I run this, they all got renamed to Overwrite Retros now. <sighs> so yeah, that's different ways you can rename files in mass. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that made sense to probably like 5% of you guys. Um, and if it didn't, it didn't. You know, there's not a lot of people that do a lot of total conversion mods and it doesn't hurt to be very uh, careful with how you do the things. Um, well, that's just my little modding tip on how to do mass renaming of things. I hope it helped some of you and I hope it didn't confuse too many else of you. So, um, yeah, I hope that helped and I'll see you in the next video.